All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And I'm here with an update for January 19th, 2021. And I do not know what's going to happen, but I think we are in for some historic times tomorrow. We're at the American Thinker here, and this article by Brian Jundep is definitely worth your time to go check out. What's next, a great awakening or a great reset? Pick your favorite sports analogy. President Trump is a bet. Bottom of the ninth inning, two outs, full count, bases loaded, down by three runs. Or he is at the poker table, across from the entire Washington, D.C. ruling class. All the chips now are on the table. Is he holding a royal flush or a pair of threes? We will know in a few days how the game ends. Is either the Great Awakening or the Great Reset? It's a binary choice with one winner and one loser. No ties, no extra innings. This will be one of the most consequential weeks in human history. This is crazy, crazy stuff that's going on here. I'm not going to go through all this, but this is seriously worth your time to go read this. It's excellent. I will leave the link in the description. So that leads me into this weirdness. Eerie video footage shows emergency warnings being tested out before the inauguration day in almost empty streets around the Capitol. Listen to this. A test of the U.S. Capitol Police Audible Emergency Notification System. I repeat, this is an audible emergency I don't know (laughs) if they've ever used that in an inauguration before. I've never, I've never heard it. I mean, why? The test of the U.S. Capitol Police Audible Emergency Notification System. I repeat, this is an audible emergency I've never heard that at an inauguration before. This is some crazy time. Wednesday the 20th is going to be unbelievable. And then this soldier says something pretty crazy here. Let's check it out. Holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King. And please allow me to say how proud I am of the almost 20 5,000 National Guardsmen who have come in from all 50 states and territories to help support the Secret Service and the police departments that with a peaceful transition of military power. Good morning, sir. What? With a peaceful transition of military power? A peaceful transition of military power. What does that mean? That didn't sound like a peaceful transition to Joe Biden to me. And this is also very strange. About 2,000 National Guard troops have been sworn in as U.S. Marshals in the lead-up to Inauguration Day, the U.S. Marshals said. The 2,000 National Guard troops were sworn in as Special Deputy U.S. Marshals by Chief Lamont Ruffin from D.C. District Court prior to the upcoming presidential inauguration, according to the Federal Law Enforcement Agency's Twitter page. The deputation gives the Guardsmen temporary limited law enforcement authority pertaining specifically to the safety and protection of the inauguration and related events, the U.S. Marshals said in a caption on its Flickr page, showing the Guard troops being deputized at night. The U.S. Marshals Service didn't respond to a request from the Epoch Times about the duties of the newly sworn in special deputies. Okay, I've never seen National Guard sworn in as deputy marshals in an inauguration either. What could be going on here? 
and the police departments that with a peaceful transition of military power. I do not know, but this is crazy. I've never seen any of this. Well, we'll find out on Wednesday. That's going to do it for this edition of the Aimless News. You know what to do, because the Aimless News must be told. (laughs) 